Stand by. Stand by. Right. Welcome back to another exciting edition or episode of 1911 Syndicate. Today we're talking about Arc Terex. Mm. Oof! Some of the Gucciest of Gucci. I say the top two are Patagucci, Patagonia, yeah. which they actually make combat uniforms. Surprise, surprise, you tree huggers. And two, Arc Terex. I'd say they're both even as far as Gucciness. Yeah. Um, but, but before you say anything else, because you are somewhat of a, I would say aficionado, but whore for Arc'teryx is a better term. I am. And before we get into that, tell the people at home what they need to do. Cool. Guys, let's keep it real basic. I'm going to give you three things, three things you should do. One, if you need real estate help, that's actually our, that's our business. You see us out here shooting. We don't shoot guns all day professionally, only a couple times a month. Uh, day gig, real estate, operating a lot of different places all across country. That's it. You can hit us up. Website will be linked below. Two, Sly Tactical US Elite Gear, which is where we got this stuff, by the way. Um, so new relationship for us. So US Elite Gear, they carry Arc'teryx Leaf. We'll get into that. Um, and all kinds of cool stuff. You can use our codes for those companies linked below. Helps us out, helps them out. Well, more so. Yeah, it helps all of us out. Whatever. And uh, the third thing, I say, fuck it. We're moving on with two. So what we're gonna do, Patreon, fuck it. Ah, there's the third. There's Patreon, the third. Uh, if you wanna give us money, that's fine too. Patreon's <laughs> linked below. There you go, there's your three. Um, Arc'teryx, so. And whore yeah. yourself out. So uh, Chris lives in Arizona, right? So you really don't Correct. live in a climate where, Arc'teryx does make plenty of stuff that's not designed for cold weather, but I would say their, their, their meat and potatoes, the stuff they're really known for is cold weather gear. Yeah. Right. Um, and you will also hear Arc'teryx referred to as dead bird. If you ever hear like dead bird and someone's referring to clothing and you're like, what are you talking about? That's Arc'teryx. If you look at the logo, it'll, it'll start to make sense. Okay, so just giving you the behind the scenes in this here. Now Arc'teryx has all their normal stuff that frankly I wear in my day-to-day -day life in the winter, but they also have the LEAF line. The LEAF stands for Law Enforcement and Armed Forces, okay? which is such a cool name for like that your so cool. Arc'teryx leaf. That's just so yeah. cool, right? Now, the challenge that I've had, I've frankly wanted leaf gear for quite a while. Uh -huh. And there's two challenges that you run into. One is where the hell do you even get it? Because there's not like, there's not many places that you can get it. So there's- I can think of two places. There's US Elite gear. Does tactical distributors? There you go. That was the other one. Yeah. Right. So, so it's like yep. there's not many places that you can get this stuff. That's one problem. The second problem is there's virtually no information on what anything <sighs> is and on what anything. Like there's just no real information on it. It's kind of one of those like if you know, you know. And if you don't, Fuck find, off. <laughs> find, find someone who does know. Like, but, you know, we don't know how to help you. Pause real quick because I was a little frustrated at first. Like, dude, I can't find any info anywhere. And then I was kind of like... Man, it kind of adds to the mystique a little bit. It does. Doesn't it? Like Patagonia, mm -hmm. combat uniforms, you can't find jack or shit about. No. Right? No. Arc'teryx, minimal amounts of information. Right. Which, neither here nor there. I mean, it's you know it's Arc'teryx, you know it's going to be good shit, so just buy it. Yeah. They're right? a Canadian company, okay? So just uh, not that it matters one way or another, but just so you understand that. Them small um, Mexicans. There's three things that I'm going to give you. Um, which is kind of how you need to understand Arc'teryx as a whole, but also Arc'teryx leaf. You're going to see three different designations. You're going to see LT, right? So you're going to see both of what we're reviewing here is their leaf combat pants. Chris has the LTs. The LT stands for? Lightweight. Lightweight. I have the AR, which stands for, it's, it's essentially all around or, or like all season. I don't know really what the all... R is all around, uh, I, I don't fucking know, but AR is like basically, hey, look, you're kind of all purpose mid, and then you have SV, which is severe, okay? So if you're like hardcore conditions, severe. If you're like most of us day to day, ARs, if you're going hot weather stuff, LTs, LTs. is what you want, okay? So kind of what we're gonna do, we got two different things here. We've got LTs, we've got ARs. So we're just gonna go section by section on our pants series here. And we're gonna go ARs, LTs, ARs, LTs, and we're just gonna alternate back and forth. Okay? And it will be slightly different than the other videos. We understand that. Don't comment about it, we know. Yeah, uh, you're good. You guys are cool, you're good, man. Everyone relax. So materials, so mine, so we got Nyko Rip Stop Cordura. Um, so it's no melt, no drip nylon Cordura kit nylon blend cotton blend uh you guys get it i just butchered some of that but you know whatever you the the best way i can describe the the material as a whole if i was comparing it to something that probably more of you would be familiar with would be like cry g3s not yeah. g4s g3s yeah. okay it's kind of that like all around 
it's going to just kind of handle whatever you throw at it, yeah. right? It's not going to be the most breathable. It's not going to be the warmest. It's going to be right in that sweet spot. That's a great analogy. Yeah, good job on that. Thank you. Thank you. Mine, the LTs, are constructed from no drip, no melt, gore, katana, and tweed dura stretch. Totally different. Okay. <laughs> so the reason why we mentioned the no melt, no drip for certain contracts from the military. Yeah. If you guys don't know, I'm just, you know, little information here. They have to be a uh, non-flammable, no drip, no melting material. The reason why is IED blast, maybe there's a kicker with gasoline, gets on your pants, your pants don't melt to your skin, which is a big issue in those type of scenarios and environments. Sure. Like if your clothes melt to you because something happened, Problem. like dude, that's a big issue. So it is important for these to be that no drip, no melt material. And, so. and what's cool, so you guys will notice in the uh, some of the footage uh, where I've, I've been wearing these pants today, um, I'm also running a, a Q Honey Badger SD. Now that'll the separate review for a separate day, but one thing that that gun gets is very hot. Um, and you know, again, a case where, hey, a hot suppressor's touching your pants. Uh, yeah, you know, you, like that no drip, no melt is important also, just on suppressors, you know? Which does happen. Uh, you'll be shooting a string of fire, like a scenario or something. You're gonna get back your suppressors hot as shit. Yeah. And without knowing it, it might be touching your pants. If that melts to you, it's a bad day. Yeah. All right, so let's hit mobility comfort, and that's going to yeah. kind of wind up tying into materials at the same time. So, um, hey, if I was just ranking, okay, how is the mobility and comfort level of the ARs? I would say they are good, okay? Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say they're like a solid B, B plus, uh, not an A plus. Now, what's the difference? Well, the difference is a lot of the pants that we've been doing in this series are hot weather pants, and because of that, there's going to be a lot more stretch, there's going to be a lot more ventilation, and they're just going to be more forgiving. These are a true combat pant. Yeah. Like th these are a true combat pant. Hard use, hard duty. Combat hard pant. use combat yeah. pant. So, hey, look, your comfort is a little bit secondary to making sure the pants are like performing tough and performing, yep. right? Yours obviously in a slightly different boat, but I would say, hey, look, mine are good. I've got, now this has come up before and there's some confusion, I think, amongst all of us, what it really means. I've got a gusseted crotch. Okay? Yeah. I got a gusseted crotch. I know what that means. Yeah. And then you know what it does? Give my crotch increased mobility. That's what it does. I would agree. So, I don't, I still haven't quite figured, you know. And he thought when I grabbed the stretching material in that one video, that was worse than you full on donkey looking right at your dick. I don't think I did that. We could <laughs> instant replay that. I don't think I did that. Dude, though. you literally went like this. Well, I was looking for gussets. I was looking for a gusset, which would be like a, I almost imagine like a grommet, like a drain hole, you know? That, no. would, that would be a good, someone make that feature. We copyright that. <laughs> I want grommets in the crotch. That way, you're in. The, I'm a sniper, right? Or, or I'm out in the field for a long time. Don't have time to take the pants off. Pee, pee just drains right out. <laughs> Good. Our so, Carex leaf. Hit, get in my DMs. They're for sure not. I'll license DM that. You. I'll license that too. So you. a gusset is like a diamond-shaped piece of material that they sew into the crotch, yeah. so you have more movement. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Right. And um, hey, look. In terms of the fit of these, they are somewhere in between, uh, not baggy, but not super tailored. They're about perfect. They're they're right in the sweet spot. Yeah. Um, you know, where you're like, hey, look, I've got good mobility. I, I, I can still like, look, I, I can get down, I can do everything. My legs are severely sunburned right now. So <laughs> bending down is a little bit dicey at the moment. A little spicy. But, um, but uh, hey, look, they're right in that sweet spot. They're not baggy, they're not, they're not uh, tight. You could also in these, I would say, hey, look, these are frankly perfectly fine in severe weather. All you're gonna need to do is layer a, uh, a base layer, some long underwear underneath. And I guarantee you prediction right now in June, you will see me wearing these pants in winter because I'm just gonna layer up underneath layer, them, yeah. and I got plenty of room for it. Well, and Arc'teryx does make their systems because they call them clothing systems. So mm -hmm. you have a like underwear base layer and you layer it from there, right? Yep. They do make almost all their clothes, if not all their clothes, to be layered that way. Now yep. these are pushing it. Uh, I would wear these yeah. if it was like, I mean, I've heard of, you know, a buddy of mine was talking about how they left for an operation down in the valley in Afghanistan. It was 110. Got up to the elevation there at 40. Jesus. Like a giant swing. And then at night it got down to 30 and dudes were like, you know, freezing. Yeah. So you could wear these in that scenario, but you're going to have to put on heavier shit. Yeah. Right. So mobility comfort. Yep. I'm getting to that right now. So these are by far and away the number one most comfortable combat pants I have. When I got them, I put them on, was wearing them around the house. Me and the wife wanted to watch a movie, got on the couch, like laid down. Dude, I was chilling like pajama pants. 
I mean, I texted you and was like, yeah. these are by far the most comfortable pants I've ever worn yeah. that are a combat pant. Yeah. It's the material, they come baggy as hell. And you guys will see, if you get on their website, they have just the pants, a picture of the pants, not even a person in the pants. And they they look baggy as shit. Kay. Have you ever noticed that? Uh, no, because mine aren't that way. So no, yeah. all Arcteryx does look a little baggy. Uh, Leaf it tends to be bulkier because it's also yeah. made to be worn with plate carriers. Correct. And, you know, shit yep. like that. So they're super baggy right out the bit, right out the bag. I guess I could say right out the gate. Um, and mobility. I mean, dude. Did all ninja kick you right off this fucking mountain? Yeah, well, you could try, but uh, you know, here's to the fucking face. You, 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 you could try, you could try, right? And I will. That leg would come around. I would take the leg, <sighs> swing you off the. Now that wind almost almost caught me on that one. Now here's the thing, um, Chris flew in yesterday. He lives in Arizona. I live in Utah, right? So he flew in yesterday, and I was like, let me see those because the way you describe the fabric and the mobility of those pants is totally different than these. These these are fine, but it's. It's what you would expect from a combat pant. Yep. I picked those things up and I was like, what the hell? Like, I would almost feel, look, it literally feels like I'm wearing pajama pants. So I almost don't feel protected. Yeah, it's crazy. Like they're, and look, there, there's, there's flexibility. Yeah. There, I mean, the, the ass panel, you can see through it. I mean, right? D do that, go back. This whole section, if you hold it up to the daylight, you'll see right through it. Right into his asshole, right? Right into the hole. And it's dark. It's this is a dark episode. Dark. Now, right? You got to go through a lot of forest before you get to that yeah. cave. Tell me about it. Well, don't tell me about it. That sounds <laughs> no, no. Just that was okay. Cut that out. Yeah, Keep yeah. going. But like, I mean, the, the the fabrics on the AR and the LT are totally different. I mean, it's not like they're like, oh, let's trim off the flap of this pocket and make uh -uh. them lightweight. It's like, uh. -uh. These are totally, totally different pants. Yep. And I'm excited about those. I want some of those. Yeah, I, I think you definitely need to get a pair. Picking them back up, picking them back up. Okay. Okay, so let's talk features of the AR and the LT Leaf Combat pants. So, um, hang on to these for a sec. So, the ARs basically, they come with built-in knee pads, okay? They're foam knee pads. And the way that these things go in, it's literally a flap at the bottom. Oh. And these things pull out. It's nothing fancy. No. It's just a piece of foam. It's just enough. But it's a very clever way that they go in. Or, or, I mean, it's it's not complicated. It's just a flap, and you just shove the damn thing in there. Now, if you need more, and frankly, this has been good for everything we've been doing. I've kneeled. They've oh, yeah. been fine. Hang on to that for a sec. So if you needed an extra layer of protection, they have hard knee pads. The only thing with hard knee, now, completely superficial, what I'm about to say. Okay. I'll give you that disclaimer, which is when you throw in those exterior hard knee pads, you just look goofy. You just look kind of goofy. I honestly don't think you look any more goofy than just wearing pants to go to Trader Joe's that are like those. Well, yeah, but I look goofy going to Trader Joe's like this. That's what I'm saying. So what's, what does it matter? It's all goofy. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm not wearing hard knee pads in Trader Joe's. Okay, everyone calm down. I'm not going that far. Okay. Now, here's the deal. The way the hard knee pads work on these things, they stay internal. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. So they basically have a slot up at the top here that right here. That I was basically, wondering what that was. So that is for the strap. So the strap still goes around the back of your knee, but the whole pad winds up in here and you literally just loop the straps through on the inside. So you have hard, inter like what would clearly be external knee pads, but they still wind up inside the cavity, as I would call it, right? <laughs> Which is not my favorite way to, to communicate it, but it's a really, really nice little feature. I like kind of the soft and then the hard knee pad thing. Uh, let's see here. Well, let me get to my knee pads. Sure. Okay. My knee pads are just a flap. So it's a giant, I mean, this knee pad, look how big that is, right? And that's that's on all of them. Whew. That was a good catch, huh? It's close, close. Fucking hat. So these just Velcro out, right? And I threw in the uh, UF Pro uh, pads that were in my UF Pros. Yep. And they fit. Which is cool. It's cool. So if you, you have know. knee pads for that, don't want to buy them for this, it's going to work on both. Yeah, no, it's a nice touch. Yeah. Um, I don't know if yours have this, so I've got, um, Velcro down at the bottom here. That way, if I want to like close these up around boots, I can do that. These have a cinch strap with shock cord. Clever. Yep. And a tube inside. See that? Yeah. How it keeps it. So. See, again, they're totally different pants. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's almost hard to imagine the same companies making both these because they didn't take the easy way out. Um, my waist has a little bit of elasticity okay. in it. So I do have a little bit of play and I've got like one of the, uh, 
like kind of internal belt systems where I can tighten this thing down okay. or loosen it up. Again, summer, winter munch, carry a little bit of winter poundage and you know, you need to loosen them up. No problem. Cool. No, no problem. So mine don't have that. It's just a fixed size, but they do have the Velcro straps that you can make it smaller. Okay. Now these, the caveat to this, when I first got them out of the bag, put them on, they were probably three sizes too big. I mean, they were huge. If yeah. I didn't wear a belt, they'd fall off. Okay. Okay. I washed them and hung dry them and now they are perfect. Okay, so hang dry is the key. I mean, I hang dry all my shit, so yeah. Laundry tips, combat pants, yeah. we got it Dude, all. It's, it's less wear and tear in your clothing. Hey, whatever makes you happy, you yeah. know? Um, one other thing that I was gonna tell you, so I've got this, uh, we'll show you a little clip here, but I have this basically like fleece lining on the inside of the waistband. It's nice. That is moisture wicking. And one thing I don't want around my waist, bunch of moisture moisture i don't want it it's common sense i have no need for it right and uh it really helps keep the pants in place so they're not like slushing around and like you, you have to like move your shit back over locks them in i like locked in and no moisture and i got it i got it you got it pocket configuration i'm gonna go first okay. i just have a giant cargo pocket that has the options to button down or you can undo the buttons and just do a velcro Yep. Um, I have good size front pockets. Okay. I do have a little knife pocket right here. Little cool. cute guy. Yep. And then I have butt pockets. Yep. Yours are similar, I think. There's like a piece of hard material at the top quarter yeah. inch. And I like it. I do. It shapes it. It keeps it nice, you know. It when makes you it bend easier over. to index. That's part of the thing I've noticed on that on that back pocket Chris is talking about. You go, well, why, why does this need to be like stiff like that? Sometimes you ever get a pocket and you're just like, dude, I can't like, like I need a little ledge to be able to like get in it. Yeah. It's like, I got it. Yeah, we're, it was pretty close. If you took a step back because you lost your balance, you were fucking going. Yeah, it was pretty so, close. Yeah. And, and, and just everyone understands this is a cliff. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a cliff. Everyone, just, we, he's we, gonna show you. We Death. play, we play with fire. That's, yeah. you know, and there's rocks at the bottom. It's literally like fuck, dead it, bodies yeah, down there. It's, it's not good. OK, so um, I've got the same back pockets, Yep. hand pockets, nothing notable. I do have that same kind of knife pocket like yep. you've got, which is good. And that has a little ledge on it, too. I don't know yep. if yours does. Yep. But mine does. Yep. Um, <laughs> the uh, these pockets are fantastic. So this pocket that's up front here, I don't have an AR mag. I mean, do you got one? No. Okay, all good. It perfectly fits an AR mag or a phone. Like, literally, I mean, it perfectly fits a phone. Like, I, I wh why are you lingering? Why are you so excited about that? I don't know. Sometimes, you ever get excited about little shit where you're like, gosh, that's awesome. Well, that works well. Why that's awesome? Don't know. I like it. I, I love it, it, though. I, I absolutely love it. Um, all their pockets have Velcro instead of buttons. So there's that. These Which again shaves weight. That's that's a big reason why people are going Velcro over zippers and buttons is it shaves weight. Yeah, like I'm fine with it. I'm fine with Velcro. Perfectly fine with it. Um, these cargo pockets are cool. They have a, like a little kind of like expandable there, so there's like oh, a yeah. little, you know, like yeah, they folds. can go real flat when they're just Velcroed. <laughs> Mine up. are similar. Or if you need to get something in there, they got some expansion. You know, pocket configuration, frankly, is fairly straightforward and simple. You know, something yeah. elaborate. So price on these bad boys. Look, it's Arc'teryx leaf, everyone. <laughs> you know, it's not, not gonna be super cheap. So my cheap. Uh, my ARs here, 360. Shockingly, that's value compared to those. Uh, these are 395. Yeah, so 395 bucks. And now, I would say that those prices should be flipped. You would because think. Because there's more to that, but I don't know how to manufacture clothing, so I don't know. I think it's probably more technical materials. If I had to take a guess, it's probably higher gotcha. end, more expensive materials. That makes sense. Um, but you know, you just go, oh, they do also a, a note to everyone. So on pretty much all the leaf stuff, they have non multicam options. And I think that's a really nice Smart. thing. Um, so like on all like the, uh, we'll no doubt do a, a, a series on like winter stuff yeah, yeah. as we prep for winter because I'm excited about getting all that stuff for winter. And they've got full on multicam parkas and all that kind of shit. But it's like, look, they've just got them in like FDE kind of colors and grays and all that kind of stuff. So if you're like, man, I love the pants or love leaf stuff, don't want it in multicam, no worries. Go get it in gray. whatever you want. Yeah. Like, and I think that is that a crocodile green or gray that is fucking a cool. I color. love the croc. Don't get all the crocodile stuff. I want the crocodile Dude, it's stuff. It's so in cool. Winter. Yeah. Okay, we're going to look like crocodile twins out here. It's like a grayish OD green. Here's what's cool. Yo, it's phenomenal. It, here's what's cool too on the non multicam, the stuff's cheaper. Oh yeah, because licensing, yeah, that would make sense. Because you don't have to license a multicam, right? That it's just and special material, yeah. Yeah, 100%. So it's like, 
You don't want multicam? Cool, it's cheaper. Um, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. I was trying to think, give you guys honest feedback in terms of like any cons. The only con really that I found is I wish there were some keepers at the bottom of this pocket. Mine's just totally open. Yeah. It'd be cool if there was a little elastic in there to like shove a pistol mag AR max, something like that. That's a good that. point. I'd, I mean, I'd like that on these two. That's small Grass potatoes we're, we're, we're talking about. But again, you know, we try to give you guys as fair and honest opinion as we can. But um, they, they honestly don't try to some pants try to do more than i think they need to do and it's like dude you tried to get too fucking innovative and yeah fancy. too much going it's, on it's like it's just too much dude these don't do that they go look hard use combat pant let's give you the shit you need the stuff you don't need leave it off like i i, I can't find much to really like it's just not much i can find to tell you guys that's not good um my one gripe with these is and again they're perfect let me reiterate perfect for playing dress up in the desert uh-huh Having said that, I've never been in combat, don't know what that's like, hopefully to never be in that situation. I would feel almost like I'm wearing my pajamas to go fight dudes. Cause like they are so lightweight, it makes me feel a little vulnerable. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, like, I think I it's- I feel like I'm wearing Lululemon pants, mm -hmm. which if you haven't bought those either, buy them. Um, <coughs> true, I don't true. feel like I could really beat the shit out of these without some good wear and tear yeah. quickly. But again, you the don't reviews know that I either. read, yeah. guys said the opposite. Yeah, which is even so. more impressive if those things will actually take a lot of abuse. That's crazy. Yeah. I really want, uh, like, I'm excited about those. I want a yeah. pair. But um, I'd say get them just for pajama pants, hanging out in the house. I, I, I'm pretty stoked on those. I mean, they are so lightweight. I mean, it's just like, what? They like, measure it's... it, obviously, because exchange and, you know, however you do the math. These weigh exactly 500 grams. I mean, so. that sounds like nothing. It I, sounds I like nothing. I don't know how much a gram weighs. I don't do drugs, so I wouldn't know. Crispy, you you know grams. What's well. a gram? Of, what's a gram of? I'm the last one of us three that should be talking about this right now. How dare you? It's you... against his religion. He doesn't do that stuff. One relax. One relax. On that note, don't do drugs, kids. No, don't. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. Stay in school. Yeah. Uh, prevent forest fires. It's dry season out here. Yeah. Uh, forest fires are bad for the environment and it ruins our shooting spots. So don't do that, yep. please. We bring a fire extinguisher every time. Yeah. And lots of water. So hey, pay attention. And last uh, selfish plug. If you guys like this stuff, hey, from us to you, it, it helps you guys if you guys use our little 1911 syndicate code on US Elite here. We give you guys a complete honest shake on these. But hey, if you're like, dude, I'm buying those things. Hey, it helps us out if you do that kind of shit. All right. Yep. That's it. End of it. Thanks. Later.